guys. Uh, my name's Nick from Energy Solar. Today I'm going to walk you through how to connect your Fronius inverter to the internet, to changes to your network, or if you're connected to the NBN. So first things first, you need to be at the inverter, and there'll be a screen with four buttons. We'll go from the left to right. Uh, there's one, two, three, and four, just to make it easy. So if you click the third button to go to the main menu, and then the left arrow, click twice, take us to setup, the fourth button to enter, and then we'll go down to Wi-Fi access points, we'll click the down arrow, and then the fourth button to enter, and then once more to activate. And then it'll show you your Veronius 240 serial number and the password. From here, what we'll need to do is just go to your phone or your chosen device, and then we'll need to go to your Wi-Fi settings. So once you've activated the wireless access point, what you'll need to do is just go into your phone settings. So mine's here. And you'll need to go to your Wi-Fi settings. So connections and Wi-Fi. And you'll see that Fronius underscore 240 Wi-Fi network there. If you click that, it will ask you for a password. The password is on the front of the inverter. Usually it's the numbers one through to eight. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then connect. It will most likely say that there's no connection. And if you want to keep the Wi-Fi, that's perfectly fine. So when that shows up, we'll just click yes. So keep Wi-Fi connection. And then it'll say connected without internet. From there, you'll need to go to your browser I have a Samsung, so it'll be Google Chrome. If you're a, an Apple user, it'll be Safari. So open that. And then in the top bar, we'll type in the numbers 192.168.250.181. So that number up the top there. And then we'll click enter. This will take you to the Fronius webpage, at which point on the right hand side you'll see a settings button. I need you to click that one. And this will load up the settings tab here. On the left there will be a network tab, if you can click that. It will load up to network interfaces. From there, if you scroll down to WLAN settings, it will have a box that says available networks. At that point, you should see your new network and be able to click that, and then underneath it, there'll be a button that says set. So click that, it'll load up a pop-up, and then you'll put in your new Wi-Fi password. Just to make sure, be sure to click show password, and then once you're sure that that's correct, click save. And then in the available networks, it will say that it's saved. The last step is in the top right hand corner, there's a tick, click that one. What that'll do is connect to that Wi-Fi network now, disconnect you from the access point, and get you online. It'll then say the new network settings will now be applied. Please connect to your configured network. Just means you can reconnect to your Wi-Fi and it should be up and running.